We've all had that class where we go to the class and there's another student in the class that we kind of have the hots for. And fellas, according to society, it's our job to make the first move. So it gets a little difficult if that person is sitting on the other end of the world. And ladies, I know you guys struggle too. Like, how are you gonna make yourself stand out to that hot guy in the back of the class when you have to go to the cheerleader and the random big booty chick and that curvaceous Latina that sits directly in front of him and he's not gonna notice you over there twirling your hair with that voluptuous booty all up in his grill. My first hickey actually came from a girl I met in class. So this is college here in Orlando called Valencia. I'm sitting in the back row of the class and I'm right by the door. So it's me, empty seat, and door. I'm sitting in my chair and all of a sudden I hear like a lot of shuffling. I look to my right, this girl rushes into the class. Now this girl sat down so fast, whoosh, you get a huge gust of her fragrance. I know this has happened to some of you guys. Somebody walks past you and you get a gust of what they smell like a few seconds later, and I just got weak. Like, I want to tell you guys what this fragrance is, but if it ever got out, that probably would not be a good look for me. Girls would just have too much power over me. I had this class Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Wednesday comes along, sitting there, and all of a sudden I hear, <laughs> but five seconds later, whoosh, huge gust of that demon scent all up in my right nostril. I'm like gripping the desk with both my hands and my toes are curling in my shoes. Friday comes along, okay? We only have 10 minutes of class left. Then, whoosh! And that delicious fragrance was all up in my breathing peripherals. I couldn't take it anymore, all right? Class ends and hand on a stack of Bible apps, this is exactly what happens. This girl walks onto the hallway, I walk out after her, I tap her on her shoulder, hey. Um. Not to be rude or anything, I don't know you, you don't know me, you come in late every single day. I'm fine with that. Problem I have is you're wearing that fragrance and that is my weakness. I'm gonna request that you do one of two things. Either A, start showing up on time, or B, stop wearing fragrance to class. Cause when you come into class and I get blasted with your fragrance all up in my nostril, I can't be held accountable for my actions. So if I lean over one day and start nibbling on your neck, don't be looking all confused. I said that to this girl and walked off. But as I turned, I saw her start to smile and I was like, yo, that was kind of G. That's some like CEO corporate boss status. Next Monday comes along. <laughs> all up in my breathing peripherals. And this girl is looking forward and she's fighting back this big old grin on her face. And I'm just like this little minx. Bunk this. This girl thinks this is a game. This is not a game. This is real life. Friday comes. She doesn't even show up to class. Walking through the hallways and I hear, hey. And it's her. She walks up to me and she goes, um, I missed class and I think we have a test coming up. Let me give you my number. We could link up and study sometime. Give her my phone. She puts in her number. She gives it back to me. I look at it. This girl doesn't put her name in. And then I thought, I don't even know what this girl's name is. Wouldn't you know, midway through the next week, my mom tells me, we're going out of town this weekend. The house is all yours. Feed the dogs, make sure they don't die. So you know what I'm thinking. I need to study with whatever her name is. Friday comes along, my parents leave town. I hit up, we'll just call her girl. I'm free tonight if you want to come over and study. She's like, mm, I can't make it tonight, but if you're free tomorrow, I can stop by. Where do you live? Fellas, it's not a good look to just give your address out to some girl and you don't even know her name. This is the first and last time I did something like this. I mess around, this girl come to my house and rob me blind. The cops show up and ask me, what was this girl's name? Tamar comes along. I open the door. This girl is standing there swinging her arms. She doesn't have a single book in hand. She walks in and poof, all up in my nostril cavity. All I can smell is It smelled like she showered in it, brushed her teeth in it. Girl, you, you finna die. Since she didn't come to the battle with her sword, we upstairs in my bedroom watching movies. So we're sitting on my bed and every time I inhale, like I smell this demon scent and it's, I don't even smell it, I smell it. I don't even know what happened. One minute I'm watching the movie and then I blacked out and the next thing you know her earlobe is in my mouth. I tried to, I, 
girl thinks this is a game. This is not a game. It's real life. No respawns. Actually, this is a good place to stop it. Uh, this video is getting too long as it is. So you got to come back next week to hear the conclusion. All right, I'll catch you guys next week. Cut it. It's a wrap.